Well, hello and welcome to this English lesson where I'm going to talk about happy things. Last week's lesson was on pain and injuries. Kind of a sad lesson. Next week les- next week's lesson will probably be, be about sad things. So, I thought I better do a lesson about happy things. The other reason I wanted to do a lesson about happy things was because it's the middle of January and if you are someone like me that lives in the northern hemisphere, the days are very short. Um there's not a lot of sunlight and it's not the most exciting time of year. Even right now, it's 7.30 a.m. here but it's dark outside. You'll uh if you lived in Canada, you probably would not enjoy how short the days are. So, I thought this would be a perfect time to do a lesson about happy things. Uh so, again, this will be more than just a vocabulary lesson. As I present each happy thing that I'm going to talk about, I'll also make sure I use a lot of standard English phrases that we would use to talk about that thing. So, I'm going to talk about a wide variety of things that usually make some people happy but sometimes make people sad. The first thing I wanna talk about is birthdays. So, birthdays, that is the, a birthday is the day where you celebrate the day you were born. Birthdays are kind of funny though because when you're really young and up to a certain age, a birthday is a very happy thing. People really enjoy birthdays when they're children. Uh they get to have a birthday party. They get to invite friends over. They get to have um open presents. Their friends will give them presents. Um their uh family will make them a birthday cake and they'll put candles on the cake for them and on your birthday as a kid, you blow out the candles. But as you get older, for some people, a birthday can actually be um I want I don't wanna say a sad thing but not as enjoyable. When you're my age, sometimes you're wondering um if a birthday is an exciting thing because you're getting older every year. So, the first happy thing uh, I wanted to talk about are birthdays. Happy for some people but maybe sad for other people. Um so, on your birthday and on other celebrations like at Christmas in our culture, you will get presents. If you look at every single country in the world and if you look at different cultures in the world, there are different times of year when you give presents and when you receive presents um and for different reasons. But the one thing we all have in common is that it is a happy time when you get a present from someone. It is very enjoyable to get a present. Presents are just awesome. You say thank you. You open the present. Usually, the present is wrapped in wrapping paper and it usually has a bow on top. A present might also come in a nice envelope. I know for some of you, a red envelope with a gift inside is a very cool thing to get but certainly something that will make you very happy is to get a gift or to get a present. Um so, we use the two words interchangeably. Um when my kids have a birthday, I give them a gift. I could also say I give them a present. You can use both words to mean the same thing but certainly uh when you get a present from someone, it is a happy time. (laughs) I usually enjoy getting presents. Even though I might sound like I'm a little grouchy about my birthday, I'm still happy to get presents on my birthday for sure. Um let me talk a little bit though about the verb to get. So, here's an interesting uh couple of sentences. When my kids have birth when my kids have a birthday, I get them a present. On my birthday, I get presents from people. So, you can see how you can use the verb to kind of indicate two different directions. Um you also might get cards. So, you might get a birthday card But again, around the world, there are various reasons why people give cards to other people. It's sometimes really nice to just receive a card from someone. Maybe on your birthday, maybe on your wedding day, uh maybe to celebrate the fact that you graduated from university. Um cards are always really nice and usually inside of a card, there's usually a message inside of a card but we usually still write something. We'll write like um I hope that your wedding day goes well and I wish you all the best with your marriage. Bob the Canadian. Um so, getting a card from someone and we do call these greeting cards as well, okay? So, we would call that a greeting card. Uh let's see here. Getting a letter 
or an email from someone can make you happy. Um usually when I get an email, it's from work. So, that doesn't always make me happy. But sometimes I get an email from a friend from far away or I get an email from someone in my family. Uh getting a letter or getting an email is a very happy thing. It's especially happy to get a letter in the mail. Some of you send me postcards and letters. Um my address by the way is in the description below and it's fun to get a postcard or a letter from another country. I really like seeing the stamps. I actually mentioned to Jen I should start a stamp collection because I have a lot of beautiful stamps from all of you from around the world. But certainly getting a letter is something that will make you happy. Um most of the time. Usually letters are fun things. Um a phone call. So, just getting a phone call from someone even though we do a lot of texting now and we do a lot of emailing, it's still very enjoyable sometimes to just get a phone call from someone. I enjoy calling my mom. My mom lives in a town close to me but I'm not allowed to visit her right now. So, it is nice. Uh sometimes she will phone me and sometimes I will phone her. Notice I can also say sometimes she will call me. Sometimes I will call her. So, we use the verb to call and to phone interchangeably. But uh, a phone call from a friend or a family member can be a very uh, happy thing. It can be a something that makes you smile, something that makes you uh, just enjoy your day more. When you know that someone else cares for you, it can be a really nice uh, part of your day. Um so, births. So, when someone has a baby and babies themselves make some people really happy. When babies cry all night and I can't sleep, (laughs) then I'm not as happy but for most of the time, people love babies. Babies are wonderful things. Um we of course have five children so I have a lot of experience with babies. Um every time we had another child, every time that Jen and I had another kid, it was a beautiful happy time. I can't even explain um what it feels like when you have when your one of your ch- children is born. It's a very wonderful time. So, births like the act of giving birth um and then a baby. Uh both things that uh, make you smile and make you very very happy. Um you might be happy because you got a new job. So, maybe you were looking for a job. Maybe you were without work for a long period of time and you were applying for jobs at a variety of places um and maybe you just got a phone call, another thing that makes you happy and you have a new job. You were just told that you were hired and maybe you start on Monday. So, certainly uh, a new job or finding out that you've been hired to start a new job can certainly be something that makes you super super happy. Weddings of course. So, either your own wedding or going to someone else's wedding or maybe if you're older, maybe your children are starting to get married. When people decide to get married, it can be a very happy thing not just for the bride and groom. So, again, the guy is the groom. Uh the woman is the bride. Um the bride and groom are obviously going to be very very happy but the parents are usually happy as well and even when I go to a wedding Uh now, even if it's a wedding for a niece or nephew, um it still makes me happy. A wedding day is a happy day. It's a day that makes people happy and makes people smile. Visits. So, this is something that is really fun to do that hardly anyone in the world is doing right now. In Ontario, Canada, we are in a stay at home situation. The government has created a stay at home order. So, we have been told to stay home until February 10th. Um so, visiting people is a very wonderful and fun and awesome thing to do. Um we haven't seen Jen's parents for months. When I visit my mom, I stand outside her house and I stand about three meters away from her um outside when we're talking. So, I try to visit her on a day where it's warm. Um I have not gone into my mom's house to have a cup of tea with her for 10 or 11 months, okay? I have only visited my mom outdoors (laughs) um and I will continue to do that for a while now but visits, when you visit someone, it is something that makes you happy. 
when someone visits you, it's something that makes you happy. So, hopefully, we are all back to normal soon and life is just wonderful again. Uh passing a test. So, it doesn't matter whether it's a driving test or an English test or maybe you're still in school and you're writing tests in your classes but when you take a test and then you pass the test, it's a wonderful feeling. So, when you get a test back from your teacher and you have 100% or you have A plus or maybe you got 97% on it or maybe you got 19 out of 20. There's a variety of ways to score tests in the world um but maybe passing a test is something where you're just super excited. Um some kids uh when they do really well on a test, they will bring it home and they will put it on the fridge with a magnet. They'll hang their test up so their parents can see that they did well. Photo albums. Now, photo albums can make you happy. For me, photo albums make me happy. A photo album is a a book where you put all photos into it. Um a lot of people don't have photo albums anymore because all their photos are on their phone on their phone or on their computer but Jen and I still like to make photo albums. We really haven't done it for a couple years. We need to start again but sitting down and flipping through a photo album and looking at photos from the past can really make you happy. Again, this is another one though that can also make you sad. When I flip through photo albums and I see pictures of my dad, it makes me sad because my dad passed away a number of years ago and so seeing pictures of him makes me happy and sad at the same time but it's still I think for the most part, a photo album is a fun thing to look at. Healing. So, the reason I put this one in here is because as many of you know, uh, a few years ago, I had heart surgery and getting better or healing uh or going through uh maybe you broke a bone, maybe you were on crutches like this person. Um when you are finally fully healed, that certainly makes you happy and makes you smile. Um there is nothing quite like going through some sort of medical procedure uh and then going through your recovery. So, if you have something like a surgery, the the time after the surgery is called your recovery and then at the end, you are healed. So, when you are fully healed, that is certainly something that makes people very very happy. Um sunlight. So, This isn't just something that makes you happy and makes you smile. It's actually also good for you. They've proven that getting a certain amount of sunlight every day, being outside and having the sun shine on your face is really, really good for you. One of the things that sunlight does is it creates vitamin D in your body. Um I'm not sure exactly how that works. Again, I teach English. (laughs) I'm not a scientist but sunlight and we also call it sunshine uh is just a good thing. We are telling our kids right now because we're in the house, almost every day we say, have you been outside? You need to go outside for a little bit every day. You need some sunlight. You need some sunshine. You need to get some sun. That's another way to say it. So, a bunch of phrases there that we use when we're talking about sunlight. When I go for a walk outside right now on in January, if there's a sunny day which is rare, I like feeling the sun on my face and I go for about a 30 or 40 minute walk and it's just very, very enjoyable to get some sunshine. So, again, here are the phrases. Everyone needs to get outside to get some sunlight. You need to get some sunshine. You need to get some sun. All of those things refer to going outside and just, you know, feeling the sun on your face. Dark, gloomy, cloudy days do the opposite. They can make people very sad. If we have a lot of cloudy days in a row, it's not I I'm not very happy then. Vacation or holidays. So, this is another thing that no one's doing right now but these things make people very very happy. When you go on vacation, when you go on a holiday, it's a lot of fun. Now, I'm using very North American words to refer to vacation or holiday. Um if you're learning British English, I think they say to go on holiday. In 
in Canada, we say, um, I'm going to go on vacation next month. I'm going to take a vacation next summer. I'm going to go on holidays or today is a holiday. So, there are special days as well where you don't have to work but certainly going on a vacation especially if you can visit some place you have never been before can be a very enjoyable thing to do. It can be very fun to visit um, another country or another place in your own country where you've never been. Vacations are certainly super fun and super uh super exciting and they do make people happy until <laughs> until you realize how much money you spent. Then maybe you're not as happy. Um but again, I'm going to do a lesson next week on things that make you sad and one of those things will be uh obviously uh when you go on a vacation and spend too much money. That might make you sad. Uh let me see here. Um Songs. So, this one has a lot of aspects to it. Um aspects are different um ways something can can work. What would be an aspect? Well, well, let me explain it. A song can make you happy when you hear it. So, that's one aspect of how a song can make you happy. A song can make you happy when you sing it. A song can make you happy when you sing it with other people. Maybe if you're in a choir. A song can make you happy if you play it. Maybe you know how to play guitar or you know how to play piano. So, songs make people happy. There are a lot of different ways that a song can make you happy. Maybe you're one of those people that likes to write music. You like to create songs. So, songs certainly can make you happy. I love listening to music. I mentioned that in one of my Wednesday videos. Um I have a members only video on Wednesdays where I talked about how I love music but songs can lift your spirits. So, that's another way to talk about being happy. If something lifts your spirits, it it means it makes you happy and songs definitely can do that. Happy songs can do that. Um so, for some people, this might be annoying which is the opposite of making you happy but certainly birds singing can make you happy. If you live in the city and you go to a park and the park has lots of trees and there's lots of birds in the trees and the birds are singing, it can be a very beautiful thing. It can be a very calm and peaceful thing to experience and it can certainly be something that makes you happy. Um when I go outside, I often hear birds chirping. I hear birds singing. Um and it does make me happy. I I'm happy I live in a place where there are lots of birds um that sing and it's just nice to be out in nature. Um so, I see Key Park in the chat using the phrase lift your spirit which I just used a few minutes ago. So, yeah, that's another way to talk about being happy. Something can lift your spirits. Um so, a really good song or hearing birds sing can lift your spirits which means it's making you happy. Um so, I have puppies and kittens as the next two. So, puppies are of course baby dogs. We don't call them baby dogs but a puppy is a very very young dog and puppies uh, especially for dog lovers make people very very happy. Okay, puppies are cute. Puppies are playful. Uh puppies are just naturally full of energy. It's fun to uh pet puppies. It's fun to play with a puppy. It's fun to watch puppies play with other puppies but certainly puppies make people happy. If you don't like puppies, I don't know what to say. Like I think everyone in the world loves puppies. Um it doesn't mean you have to own a puppy but certainly puppies make people happy. Kittens also make people happy. So, of course, a kitten is a baby cat. Kittens are very cute. They're very playful. It's fun to play with baby kittens. They they really enjoy playing with people. So, overall though, what I'm saying is that puppies, kittens, almost all pets make their owners happy, okay? So, people like me that have a dog. We have a dog named Oscar. He's often in the back of my videos. Lately, he's been running in the back of the videos. Um but pets make people happy. If you are a pet lover, uh maybe you're a dog lover or a cat lover, Um owning a pet can make you very very happy. Uh let me see where I am here. Um a nap. So, this is not true for everyone but for me, 
one of the things that makes me very, very happy is to have a nap in the afternoon. When I was younger, I did not take a nap but now I usually take a nap almost every day for about five or ten minutes. It's a short nap um and I usually take a nap on the couch. The way you know that this person is having a nap is because she is on a couch and not in bed. You can take a nap in bed as well but generally people will just lay down on a couch and have a quick nap or like for me, I actually sit on the couch and have a quick nap. So, a nap can certainly be something that makes you very, very happy. Um it makes me happy. Often on Saturdays when I'm doing my live lesson, I'll say, I'm gonna have a nap as soon as this is done. Um and that's one of my favorite parts of the day. Sleeping in. So, sleeping in is when you don't get up early in the morning. So, maybe you get up at six o'clock every morning during the week um but on Saturdays, you sleep in till seven or eight. Before the live stream, Madi was asking, what time do you normally get up? And I said, I normally get up at 6 30 but lately, I've been sleeping a bit longer because I don't have to go to work right now. We're working from home. Um so, I've actually been sleeping in a little bit. Um not a lot but I've been getting up a little later than I normally do. So, buying something new can make you very happy, okay? I don't think it's the best way to be happy. I think there should be other things in life that give you joy. There should be a lot of other things in life that make you happy. If the only thing that makes you happy is buying new things, (laughs) that's probably not good but I will say this. When I get a new phone or when I buy a new car, I usually buy used cars by the way, uh, so new to me. That does make you happy, okay? Um right now, we're waiting for Jen has bought a Jen bought a new phone and it's gonna arrive in a couple of days. That is something that can make you happy. Sometimes when you go out and buy new clothes, it can make you happy. So, again, when you buy things, they can make you happy but if the only thing that makes you happy is buying things, you should really look for some other things that will also make you happy. Hopefully, that made some sense to you. Um fresh baked cookies. Now, you can remove the word cookie and you can insert whatever you want there but when you bake something in your oven, especially if it's something sweet like a cookie or other treat, that is something that definitely makes me happy. When I am working and one of my kids decides to make cookies, and I can smell the cookies baking in the oven, that makes me happy. Maybe you like fresh baked pie. Maybe you like fresh baked bread. The when you say fresh baked, it means that you can smell it cooking or you can smell it baking and you're going to eat it when it's still a little bit warm. So, that's certainly something that makes me happy. Anything fresh baked makes me happy. I mentioned this before, uh coffee or tea. So, a lot of us have different drinks that make us happy. In Canada, a lot of people drink hot chocolate in the winter because it's very cold outside and a hot drink can make you very happy. I'm happy when I have my coffee in the morning. Some people like to have a nice cup of tea in the morning or in the afternoon but certainly uh having something hot to drink can make you happy. Now, of course, there's other drinks as well. In the chat, someone mentioned It's nice to have a good glass of wine. Some of you might like drinking beer. There might be other things that you just enjoy sitting and drinking. One of the things about coffee, tea, wine and all other drinks is sometimes it's also a social time. It's nice when we visit Jen's parents because in the afternoon, they have tea at four o'clock. So, I enjoy having a cup of tea and that makes me happy but I also enjoy visiting with them. I enjoy sitting and talking to them. So, certainly um as human beings, we certainly like to drink different things and they definitely make us happy. Um spring. So, I really like fall. I really like winter. Spring is okay and summer is too hot for me sometimes but spring in general makes most people happy. If you live in a country that has winter, Spring might even make you more happy. Spring is just a beautiful time when birds start to sing, flowers start to grow, there's 
buds and blossoms on the tree. So, the bud is what's on the tree before it opens and when it opens, it's a small flower that we call a blossom. But spring definitely makes people happy. Um it's been proven that helping others can make you happy. One of the things that's guaranteed to make somebody happy is if they help other people. So, volunteering somewhere can make you happy. When you volunteer, it means you help somewhere and you don't get paid for it. So, maybe you help in your city. Maybe there are homeless people and you help somewhere where you help feed homeless people. Maybe there is uh, at the library, you can volunteer to teach people how to use a computer. Helping others can certainly make you happy. It's been proven that if you help someone else, you will feel better about yourself and you will be happy. So, um I and I would agree with this. I actually um I'm quite happy making lessons for all of you. It really makes me happy to help you. Um it's kind of hard to explain but it makes me happy. Uh especially when I know that you enjoyed it. That's kinda nice too when you guys let me know. Um jokes. So, I'm not sure you'll get this joke but jokes are little funny things you tell people to make them laugh. Uh this joke says, what's the best thing about Switzerland? And then the punchline of the joke is, I don't know but the flag is a big plus. So, in English, when you say something is a big plus, it means it's really cool or it's a bonus or it's something extra. So, the joke here is that the flag of Switzerland is literally a plus sign and so, The punchline kind of has two meanings. So, but jokes. When you tell a joke, you tell a joke because you want people to laugh. Usually, when you tell a joke, the last sentence of the joke is the part that's funny and we usually call it the punchline. I told a really lame joke in my short lesson this morning, I think. I'll tell it again now. A man went to a store to buy some bees and he asked for 12 bees and the store owner gave him 13 bees for the price of 12 and he said, whoa, you gave me one extra bee. I need to pay for it and the store owner said and the store owner said, don't worry about it. It's a freebie. So, the word freebie is something that we use when something is free. Like, you get something for free. It's a freebie. Um so, it's kind of a word in the joke that has two meanings. I don't wanna explain it too much. When you explain jokes, sometimes makes them less funny but jokes definitely make people happy. Exercise. So, this is the one thing that sometimes you don't want to do but when you've done it and when you've finished exercising, you're usually happy. Something happens to your body physically when you exercise. Your heart rate goes higher. You have better blood flow in your body. You um you breathe deeply. And exercise is something that again has been proven usually makes people happier. So, if you are not someone who exercises, I highly recommend it. It's really, really good for you and it definitely helps to make you happy. Um so, this one makes me happy. When a house is clean, that can make people happy, okay? I certainly feel this. When I clean my office, when we clean our house on Saturdays, um when we're done cleaning our house, it's a very nice feeling. When everything's back in its place, when everything has been washed and cleaned, uh when all of the garbage is taken out, um when everything uh is just neat and tidy, um a clean house is I always say a clean house is a happy house. Now, I did mention that I am a bit of a messy person but certainly once our house is clean, I am a lot happier. Um meditation. So, meditation is something that um not everyone does. Many of you have told me that I should practice meditation. That I should meditate once a day. When you meditate, you sit quietly maybe with your eyes closed in a very peaceful place and you just try to clear your mind. You just try to think about nothing. I am not an expert in meditation but I know that many of you over the last four years in the comments have said, Bob, you should try meditation. It's very relaxing and it will make you a happier person. So, I still haven't done that but I think when I'm on my walk, 
I think I'm practicing some of the same techniques because when I'm on my walk, it's just a peaceful relaxing time. Um SEO Wu in the chat says, yes, cleaning my room, it's a very nice feeling. I totally agree. Clean house is a happy house, says Key Park. Yes, definitely. Um smiles. When someone smiles, it it can sometimes make you smile. When you are around happy people, it can make you happy. Um when you're around grouchy people, it can make you sad but certainly when you see someone smile, it can make you smile. It's like a natural reaction. So, smiles and laughter. So, when you are with friends or family, uh there are usually a lot of smiles and a lot of laughter if everyone is in a good mood and certainly when you see someone smile or when you hear someone laugh, it can totally make you happy as well. Um Jen asked me to add this one and I agree with her. For some people, chocolate can make you happy. Again, earlier I said if buying things is the only thing that makes you happy, you should find other things to make you happy as well. If eating chocolate is the only thing that makes you happy, you should definitely find some other things that make you happy as well. But as we mentioned when we were talking about drinks, good food can make you very happy. So, I mentioned fresh baked cookies but also chocolate can make you happy. Chocolate is the one food that definitely makes me happy. Having a little square of chocolate uh eating a little square of chocolate makes does make me happy. Uh, it's it's yummy. It's tasty. Um I would love to travel the world someday and just try chocolate in all the different countries that I visit. Um the sound of water. So, the sound of water can make you happy. There is something relaxing and calming about water. Um so, maybe it's a waterfall like in this picture. Maybe it's the sound of waves at the ocean. Maybe you're sitting beside a small river or a small stream and you can hear the water flowing in the stream but the sound of water can make people happy. Maybe you have uh outside your house a fountain uh maybe when you go to the um the city square in your city, there's a water fountain where you can hear water. Um maybe you have an aquarium with fish in it and there's bubbles coming out. Um all the different things that we have where you can hear different sounds of water can certainly make people happy. Um getting off work early. So, I think this is a universal truth. I think when you are told you can go home early from work, that can make you happy. Especially if they're if they're still paying you for the whole day. So, let's say you are normally done work at five and at 4 30, your boss says, you know what? We're done for the day. You can go home early. Um and if you know you're still getting paid till five, that's even a better thing. Uh but certainly getting off work early can make people happy. I'm not sure if this guy is getting off work early but he looked happy to me. So, I thought he looks like he's getting off work early. So, again, getting off work early is when you are allowed to go home um earlier than normal from your job. Finding money uh especially if you find money in your pocket of like maybe you put a jacket on and you reach in the pocket and all of a sudden you you find some money. Finding money on the ground um isn't as exciting because it's somebody else's money. So, I think what I mean is when you find money that was already your own money but you lost. Maybe um maybe you're cleaning your room and then behind your dresser, you find a twenty dollar bill that fell on the ground. Uh, maybe um winter is starting and you put your winter coat on for the first time and you find a ten dollar bill in the pocket. Certainly, when you find money in a pocket um that you didn't know was there uh would be really cool. Um I wanna go back to the sound of water because I see SEO Wu mentioning the sound of rain makes her happy. So, yes, there are certainly a lot of different water sounds that we find very pleasing. But yes, finding money definitely can make you happy. So, this is something that makes me happy. Um I don't live in the city but I have lived in the city and I always love the sound of rain at night in the summer in the city. 
or just being out in the rain at night in the summer in the city. Um for those of you that live in cities, um a warm rain or even a cooling rain on a hot day at night um in the summer in the city, just something I really love. When I lived in um I lived in the United States for a little bit and I lived in Quebec City for a little bit, I always enjoyed rain at night in the summer in the city. Um because it's it's just warm, right? Like you can be outside and it's you can just enjoy the rain and it, it's a lot of fun. And then here's the last one. Uh clean <laughs> clean laundry. So, sometimes you wear your clothes and then you don't have a lot of clean clothes because all your clothes are dirty and then you do your laundry and then you have all clean clothes for the next week. I like it when we have clean clothes. I like it especially when we wash um having a a clean pillowcase, having clean sheets and blankets on your bed. Having clean laundry is similar to having a clean house. It's a very nice and enjoyable feeling to have for sure. So, that's the last one. Clean laundry is something that definitely makes me happy.